everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are all doing well sending lots of love for today's video we're going to be getting into this look so if you want to see how i got it make sure to keep on watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that little notification bell that way you get notified anytime that i make a new upload we create looks over here and of course i want to share all of that with you guys so definitely don't forget to subscribe so let's get into this hair and makeup because it's definitely giving like glam beach babe energy that's kind of like the vibe i was going for with it like something super boho but also very glam we do have a hair sponsor today the hair company that i'm working with today is icy hair they sent over this magnificent this amazing lace unit and it's giving all of the vibes um yeah so i'm gonna leave all of the information for this hair down below in the description box the hair that i'm wearing is a body wave texture it's 28 inches so she's giving long she's giving you know she's giving inches it's very long <laughs> it's 28 inches but it's giving like 30 32 you know vibes it's you know down to like my little booty i say little because i don't have one um but, but it is it is very long then again i am kind of short i'm 5'4 so longer lengths tend to look a little bit longer on me but either way it's i'm loving this length especially for this hair texture and um it is a 13 by 4 lace unit so lots of space to still do parting and and you know styling and stuff like that i'm gonna keep it super simple today just kind of you know do like a flip over method type of look no parting or styling anything like or anything like that for today but there's still plenty of space on the lace on this unit to do all of that and it has 180 percent density so you've got a lot of volume a lot of body which i absolutely love as well but anyway so to install this wig i definitely wanted to use my ebon lace adhesive you guys already know what time it is with this lace adhesive i've been loving this stuff it's just so amazing this lace adhesive is from ebon it's their extreme hold actually i have it right here so i can tell you exactly what it is this is their wonder lace bond adhesive spray and it's the supreme the extreme firm hold supreme lace adhesive all of the ebon lace adhesive are adhesives are really great but this one in the black can is the bomb like it's just like i think it's the best in my opinion it holds really well especially for me like you guys already know i live in miami it's really really hot and very very humid um, when it's not supposed to be um so a good lace adhesive is like necessary and this one from evan has been really great in the past i would do just one layer of this adhesive but nowadays i do two sometimes even three <laughs> just for a little bit of extra hold and uh, to speed up the process i'll sometimes go in with like my blow dryer and just you know do a little a little air like a little blow dry on it just to so it dries just a tad bit faster it dries really fast on its own but you know sometimes i'd be like in a rush and i'm just like hurry up so i'll go in with my blow dryer and uh, dry it down a little bit faster one of you guys were asking me like if this lace adhesive like you know messes up my edges and stuff anytime i take off my wig and i have this lace adhesive on i definitely like really saturate the lace with water and literally i don't even have to pull the lace off like it just slips right off like super easily so i never have issues with this like tearing like pulling my edges or pulling my hair but once i'm done cutting away all that extra lace i'll go back in with like a little teeny bit of that lace adhesive and just kind of touch up any spots that are lifting and then i'll add my little elastic bands let it sit there kind of like marinate for a few minutes like about 10 minutes or so and this is kind of like the look that i get it's really flawless like just everything is super laid from there i'll just do my edges i've been using the got to be high insta hold hairspray to do my edges i trimmed my edges and um curled them off camera because that literally takes me forever but i usually like to just use the ebon i mean i was gonna ebon the got to be high insta hold hairspray just to lay the edges down to um and to like mold them into place
This body wave texture is definitely my favorite thing about this wig. So I just wanted to kind of play up those waves because the hair texture on this wig is just, oh, uh, it's so cute. Usually when I get a body wave wig, it's like I'm inclined to straighten it and do all this other stuff to, to it because the waves kind of like loosen up a lot. This particular wig, it like retained the waves so well, even after washing and conditioning and all this other stuff. As soon as it was dry completely, I was like, oh no, oh no, we're not, we're not touching these waves. Like these waves are, it's giving beach vibes. I've been going to the beach a lot these days. It's just been kind of like my happy place right now. It just really inspired me to create like a beach, beachy, you know, wave type of look. Yeah, so that's kind of like the, the vibe that I was going for with this, with today's look, just something super effortless, very easy, you know, just really focusing like on the texture of the hair, like playing off of those really beautiful waves. I went in with my isoplasm plus olive oil hair wrapping foam. If you're looking to do this kind of like scrunching technique, I definitely recommend using a wave defining like styling product that you can scrunch into the hair so you really get those super textured waves. But yeah, that's pretty much all I did with the hair. Super easy, very simple. So thank you again to Icy Hair Company for sending over this unit. As always, I'm gonna leave all of the information for this hair down below in the description box, as well as the link to the exact wig that I'm wearing. So now that we are all done, the hair let's get into this makeup look all right so skincare is already done i did that off camera so i'm gonna jump straight into primer i've been loving this all-nighter primer from urban decay it's just been like holding on to my makeup for so well and it's it's really great so <laughs> i've just been using i've been stuck on this primer for the last few weeks and it's really great i'm then gonna go in with my foundation i'm using the huda beauty faux filter foundation in shade 430 neutral wrong shade great foundation i I am definitely on the tan side right now like i mentioned earlier i've been going to the beach like hanging out there all over the weekends getting my little tan on you know what i'm saying and um <laughs> definitely more on the tan side i did not take that into consideration when doing my foundation routine today so everything looks like a little bit brighter a little bit too light and um yeah but we're just gonna go with it because it doesn't look that bad it's just like in hindsight i definitely would have gone with like a deeper shade of concealer a deeper foundation shade but anyway moving on for concealer i'm gonna be using makeup forever's matte velvet skin concealer in shade 4.1 kind of like the primer i'm like really stuck on this concealer it's been like a staple in my um, foundation routine and my skin routine so i've been keeping things really like you know natural quote unquote with my foundation but when it comes to concealer like i still love a good full coverage concealer i'm then gonna go in with my cream contour this is the huda beauty cream bronzer and and contouring cream in shade medium so i'm adding that to the forehead a little bit on the cheekbones as well as the nose i don't really contour my nose but i will do like a little bit of bronzer and then just use my powders to kind of like snatch up the sides and add a little bit of highlight onto the bridge and then for my final liquid slash cream product i'm going to use this colored rain cream blush I can never remember the name of this blush, but it's the hot pink shade. It's such a pretty color. Colored Rain really like killed it with these cream blushes. They're so, so pretty and very vibrant. You can build on them to make more like of a vibrant look for your blush, or you can use just a small amount to create like a subtle flush of color. So love this stuff. It's amazing. One of my favorite Colored Rain products. And then to start setting that concealer, I'm using Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Loose Setting Powder in shade Blondie. You guys have seen this powder like a ton of times on my channel. It's definitely one of my favorites that I like to use to set like my cream and liquid products. But I'm just gonna use that to do like my first initial set of powder on the under eyes. So I'm not gonna go in with a ton of this, just a small amount to start setting everything. So I've been doing this new thing where I've been using powdered foundation on my under eye area to brighten it versus like, you know, going in with like a ton of powder to bake. I'm actually going to use powder foundation to set the rest of the face as well using the Fenty Soft Matte uh, Powder Foundations in shade 370 as well as 235. 235 is going to be the lighter shade so that's going to be the one that I use like underneath the eyes and then 370 is the one I'll use for the rest of the face. But yeah I've been loving like these little Fenty powders. They're so cute like I don't know the packaging is like super cute too and I just love using them. <laughs> um, so next up 
makeup, I'm gonna add my powder bronzer. I'm using the Be Perfect Cosmetics Shape Shifter Palette. There's a blush side and then there's the bronzing side. The bronzing and highlighting side was done in collaboration with Kohl's World. So I'm gonna use one of those bronzers to just kind of further warm up the skin. Going back into that Huda Beauty Loose Setting Powder, I am gonna use this to bake, but I'm not gonna bake like how I used to. These days I just use it to snatch the sides of the nose because I don't go in with like a contouring powder. But yeah, definitely, you know, not taking my bake like all the way under the eyes like I used to, just kind of keeping it on the sides of the nose. And I actually like to bring it to the inner corner to brighten that space up too. So now I'm gonna apply my powder blush. I've been loving the BH Cosmetics. I love it because I literally use this palette all the time. This is the BH Cosmetics Bellini Blush Palette. Love this palette. Such a cute peachy blush palette and it's perfection. I'm gonna use that for blush and then I'll go into like my brow situation. My brows are kind of like, first of all, I need to, looking at this footage, I really need to like go in and like, you know, pluck my eyebrows or do something with them because they just look real crazy. But um, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to be using the KBT Brow Pomade. I've been enjoying more of like a snatched, like straighter type of brow. So using pomades have kind of been like the vibe for me. I'm also going to use Huda Beauty's the Micro Brow. I think it's their... Ooh, I don't know the name of this exactly, but it's like a fiber brow gel. So it has little bitty, you know, fibers in there to kind of make your brows look a little bit more on the bushy side. And um, I'm using shade medium brown for that. So first things first, I'm gonna prime the eyes using Makeup Forever's Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. Same one that I use to highlight the under eyes. So shade 4.1. And I'm also gonna set that with powder. I wanted this eye look to be super soft because y'all already know I'm like really into soft glam right now. Now. when it comes to the eyes like to get that soft look it's much easier to do when you have like your primer set with some powder then for shadow I'm mostly going to be using shadows from the Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette this palette listen <laughs> it's really really good okay it's been like one of my favorite neutral palettes these days like and I'm kind of mad at myself because I got this palette in PR like maybe I want to say like two or three weeks ago and I just used it and I'm just like why did I wait so long to use this magnificentness I don't understand it's such a good palette so many beautiful like warm tone neutral colors and I think there's like some olivey tones in there definitely has my stamp of approval I used a couple of those warm toned browns to do like a soft cut crease. And then I used the lightest matte shade in that palette. I don't know the names of these shades. That's why I'm like just trying to describe the color. Um, but uh, yeah, I used that lighter matte shade on the far left on the lid space. And then for the liner, I used the black eyeshadow and that darker brown shade that I use on the crease to create like a really soft smoky wing. And I also added those shades onto the lower lash line to do like a soft smoke on the lower lash line too. For the waterline, I went in with my favorite eyeliner at the moment, probably for forever. This is Beige Cosmetics uh, Power Pencil in shade beige. You know what's crazy though? I went on to uh, Beauty Bay's website because that's usually where I get this liner from and it's sold out. I don't know what I'm gonna do guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's sold out. I'm gonna have to find another liner to use in replacement of this one because this BH Cosmetics one, it's been like, you know, you guys already know, I literally use this eyeliner in every single video. It's been like my go-to. So I'm gonna have to find like another one that I enjoy like just as much. Mascara is next. I used one from Milk Cosmetics. It's their Kush mascara, if I'm not mistaken. Love this mascara. It's very, very volumizing. So if you have little itty bitty lashes like I do, then you might wanna try this one. It's, it makes your lashes look very full, very voluminous. Definitely one of my favorites right now. For highlights, I use the the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey Highlighter Palette. I don't know if this palette is still like something that they sell, but if it is available, of course, I will make sure to put a link to it in the description box along with all of the other products I use for this look. So I mentioned in a previous tutorial that I've just been like getting random beauty marks everywhere on my face. It's not really that noticeable on camera, but I can see them. So I like to go in with the Freckle Beauty Freck Noir um, product and just kind of like define them a little bit more. I don't know about you guys, but I've always found beauty marks to be like insanely beautiful and very, very cute. So I definitely like to play mine up a little bit, you know. 
Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this lip combo though. So you guys already know I love a nude lip, but I always try to use like something different. Sometimes it's nice to just switch your products around and you know, try some new stuff. So I'm using this lip liner from Huda Beauty. I don't know the name off the top of my head, but again, I will place it in the description box. And then for my lipstick, I'm using one from Melt Cosmetics. I wanted to do a matte lip. So I started off with shade Working Girl from Melt. It's their tube lipstick. And I was like, oh, this is cute, okay. Um, but then I was like, maybe I should use like a little, uh, a lighter one, just like brighten up the center a little bit. But remember, I forgot that I'm like more tan now. So colors that were working on me before don't necessarily look as good anymore. So I was like, okay, this don't look good. <laughs> so we're gonna have to apply a lip gloss or do something. So I mixed this lip gloss from Artist Couture and MAC and got this little lip combo right here. Even though I was trying to go for a matte lip at first, I feel like still feel like the glossy lip looks really cute. So, but anyway, last but not least, I'm gonna go in with my lashes and setting spray. I've been really loving these lashes from Eben as well. They are their Duchess lashes in, sh in st shade in style Zirko. And I got them from the beauty supply store for the low they were like six dollars like sometimes i can't believe i used to spend like twenty dollars on lashes my gosh <laughs> and then for my setting spray i'm using my favorite from benefit right now this is their professional super setter setting spray and that completes today's hair and makeup tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed today's look of course if you did let me know in the comments don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you so 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 much for all of the support that you guys have been showing i really appreciate all of the kind comments you guys are amazing i'm sending lots of love to everyone and hopefully i will see you in the next one.